friends, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this memorable occasion. With this outward celebration, we shall see and hear expressions of inner love and devotion they have in their hearts. Jesus reminds us that in the beginning, the Creator made us male and female and said, For this cause, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. God loved us and created us to love others. Jennifer and James come here today desiring to be united in this sacred relationship. James, do you now declare to establish your own home with Jennifer as her husband, to receive her as your wife, to make a home where she would be loved and cared for as long as God grants her life? If so, answer, I do. Jennifer, do you now to declare to establish your own home with James as his wife, to receive from him as your husband, to make a home where he will be loved and cared for as long as God grants him life? If so, answer, I do. I do. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? family and friends, in the eyes of Almighty God, these two persons, James and Jennifer, are washed through the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They have prayed and sought the Lord. They have made their decision. Therefore, I charge you, do you promise to encourage Jennifer and James in their marriage to present an example of love and devotion for them to emulate and to help them build a strong and stable home for themselves and their family? If so, answer, we do. The ceremony of marriage in which you've come to be united is the first and oldest ceremony in the entire world, celebrated in the beginning in the presence of God himself. Marriage is a gift of God, given to comfort the sorrows of life and to magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. Your marriage must stand, not by the authority of the state or by the seal on your wedding certificate, but by the strength of your love and the power of your faith in each other and in God. You can have this kind of home if you continue to recognize God as the source of romance love and affection for these are his gifts build your home on a spiritual foundation with god you will have everything and without him you will have nothing now will you please join hands and face each other express your vows of love and devotion James, I know you look in her eyes many times, but this is different today. <laughs> look into her eyes and repeat after me. Hold her hands. I, James, take you, Jennifer, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. I choose you to be my partner in life to be joy to your heart and food to your soul, to bring out the best in you always, and for you to be the most that I can, to live with you in good times, to struggle you with in bad, to comfort you when you are downhearted, <laughs> to wipe your tears with my hands to comfort you with my present, to mirror you with my soul, to share with you all my riches and honors, <laughs> and honors, and always loving you, gladly, as long as we both shall live, 
as God is my witness, I give you my promise. Jennifer, are you convinced? Yes. <laughs> this time, Jennifer, look into his eyes and repeat after me. I, Jennifer. I, Jennifer. Take you, James. Take you, James. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. I choose you to be my partner in life. I choose you to be my partner in life. To live with you. To live with you. And laugh with you. Laugh with you. To stand by your side. To stand by your side. To be joy to your heart. To be joy to your heart. And food to your soul. And food to your soul. To bring out the best in you always. To bring out the best in you always. And for you. And for you. To be the most that I can. To be the most that I can. To live with you in good times. To live with you in good times. To struggle with you in bad. To struggle with you in bad. To comfort you when you are downhearted. To comfort you when you are downhearted. To wipe your tears with my hand. To wipe your tears with my hand. To comfort you with my presence. To comfort you with my presence. And to mirror you with my soul. And to mirror you with my soul. To share with, to share with you all my riches and honors. To share with you, with you all my riches and my honors. And always loving you. And always loving you. Sweetly and gladly. Sweetly and gladly. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. And together, I want you to repeat this after me. We promise, we promise to keep in our everyday vocabulary. To keep in our everyday vocabulary. Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I love you. And I love you. From this day forward. From this day forward. Amen. The word of God tells us what love is like and what love does. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly, it does not seek its own, it is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never fails. Having this kind of love in your hearts you have chosen to exchange rings as a sign and seal of the vows you are making today. May I have the rings? Though small in size, these rings are very large in significance. These rings are, are an outward symbol of an inward expression of your commitment to one another. As it is a circle, it has no beginning and no end, like your love. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises you are making today. James, put that on her. Hold it there and hold it there and look into her eyes and repeat after me. Jennifer, as your husband, I will cherish you as long as I live. Take this ring and wear it always as a continual reminder of my eternal love for you and our faith in Jesus Christ. there and looking into his eyes and repeat after me. James, James as your wife, as your wife, I will cherish you as long as I live. I will cherish you as long as I live. Take this ring. Take this ring. And wear it always. And wear it always. As a continual reminder. As a continual reminder. Of my eternal love for you. Of my as my eternal love for you. And our faith in Jesus Christ. And our faith in side of the table. <laughs> the most beautiful example of this partnership is the marriage relationship. 
You have committed here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. Today, this relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand, representing you, James, and all that you are, and all that you were, and all that you will be, and the other representing you, Jennifer, all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will be. As these two containers of sand are poured into the third container, This time we're going to take a moment of silence in memory of Jennifer's father. May we bow. Amen. James, at this time, you will have this opportunity to express to Jennifer your feelings at this moment. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Jen. Thank the Lord for the, lo the love that has bonded our hearts, our lives together in spiritual fellowship and marriage. I promise to cherish, protect, satisfy, provide, care, and be faithful with a capital F <laughs> to you, to love and honor you, and be willing to lay down my life Jesus Christ did for me, so long as we both shall live. and cherishes me as if I am the only woman on earth. I love you with my whole heart. I long to see that thousand or three thousand dollar smile your mom paid for every day. <laughs> <laughs> I yearn to hear that annoying giggle because no matter how much it gets on my nerves, it is a part of the man I love. I promise before God, our friends and family, to always have your back. And to always act like I'm enjoying the basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> and to always, no matter how horrible of a season they're having, to support the Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys. <laughs> I promise to encourage you when you can't find the strength to do it for yourself. And most importantly, I promise to remember the true meaning of submission, allowing you to maintain the role God created for you in this three full cord that we created today. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> you have come before us and before God, having expressed your desire to be husband and wife. 
You have shown your love and affection by joining hands and have made promises of faith and devotion each to the other and have sealed these promises by giving and receiving of rings. I therefore pronounce that you are a husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. What God has joined together, let no man separate. You may salute your bride. <laughs> Well, uh, that was the first one for the father. <laughs> now you have to do one for the son. Now we believe in the Trinity. <laughs> now one for the Holy Ghost, James. Do it. <laughs> turn and face. Let me present to you Mr. and Mrs. James Owens. Right. 